scammers are everywhere. The little bastards attempt to make money from vulnerable people and make a shit ton of it. I don't agree with this because I'm a functioning human being and today, well, two years ago, I decided to take the fight to the scammers by annoying the shit out of them. I will not be Shadow Square, however, but Sheila Larch. Sheila Large is a naughty girl from Oxford. She enjoys knitting, has several kids, and really enjoys hardcore pornography. She runs a business called Live and Let Knit and is divorced for eagle-related reasons. She opened a totally real and not bait email account to meet men, watch porn, and get free knitting supplies from non-legal sources. In reality, I got bored and locked down and opened a scam email account to waste the time of scammers in order to alleviate the boredom and have a bit of fun while I'm at it and I caught a whopper. Meet Martin Coffee Adu. He works for the very real and legitimate Ghana National Petroleum Corporation. He's not a real person, he's working for a fake company and is 100% not based in Ghana. I could not find a trace of him. Finding our email in a scammer's database, which we purposely listed, he sent us a very long email which is built to get a hold of a person's details and I imagine he banked on people seeing this email believing him and he went as far as to pop a wealth of fake documents into this email. Here we have a totally real bank statement with a lot of cash in his bank. Next we have a passport where he tells us he lives in Arkagana, the capital of the country. What a high roller. Along with this, we have a completely different person on the ID card for the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, which again, is definitely real, trust me. Trust me. Then we have two random photos of men. It's kind of hot. I usually have to pay for stuff like that. He is operating an advanced fee scam, which is a rather simple scam. He offers you a large sum of money for a smaller sum of money up front like a transaction fee for example. This larger sum never turns up and he disappears into the night with your money to never return. It's the lowest of the low and I cannot stand it. Seeing this email and all the documents gave me enough reason to jump in and see how far we could take him. So Sheila replied, what's this all about then? Very blunt, I know. We then got a repeat email with Sheila popping on her reading glasses and replying to the scammer to give him something to work with. Hello Mr Martin. So, what's your company about then? I'd love to help the best I can. Love, Sheila. I was intentionally using love and I did not realise at the time how far that shit would get me. He then explained that he had $87 million to do a project on oil pipelines. It's complete bullshit, trust me. And he thought Seven Kids Sheila would be a perfect person to help with the job. So of course, I had to reply, what did you expect? Mr. Martin, thank you for your speedy reply. Yes, I'm interested. My oldest child, Rocky, said it's a brilliant company. So, how shall we proceed? Love, Sheila. Rocky is 100% real. Here's a picture of him. He loves playing with knives and partying with a lovely man called Jeffrey. Wait. What? Back on topic. Martin then sent a template email attempting to get Sheila's information, the main issue being ID. Sheila had her passport revoked for stealing 27 packets of Maltesers from an airport boots. It's not that I was just too lazy to mock up a fake passport. Sheila replied to this email with some alternative IDs for Martin to choose from. Mr. Martin, just out of curiosity, what ID would you like? I have my senior's bus pass or my library card. What would you recommend being an expert of petrol related issues? Also, what country are you in? I'd love to know as I was a traveller once with my husband until he decided to leave me for Karen. Love, Sheila. Yes, I know I used the name Karen. It was 2020 and I was in lockdown. Cut me some slack. Martin then took my bait like a legend and asked me why Sheila's husband left her. I'll be honest, I was beyond surprise because I didn't think I'd be able to take it this far. He then offered to marry Sheila. What the fuck? This is a gold mine for me, so I decided to keep digging with this response. My dear Martin, in my wildest dreams I never thought I'd ever meet someone like you. My husband left me due to not wanting to buy a pet eagle and name him Samantha Peterson. I loved traveling. Maybe you and I can travel together as soon as our business is concluded. Love, Sheila. 
Samantha Peterson is a name I ripped straight from Joe Lysett's Got Your Back. Watch it, it's great. If he still fancies Sheila after this though, I will be surprised. He replied, still playing along with my antics, telling me that we can travel when we're done, and then he pressed for Sheila's idea again. But I was away from my PC, in bed, depressed because I hadn't been out in 90 days, and I had to get creative. To stall, my dearest Martin, I own a knitting company called Live and Let Knit. It's a small company which makes mostly novelty jumpers. I shall wait in my country for you to fly over so we can escape the mundanity of life together and see the world. I'm just looking for my ID card now so we can continue with our business. Lots of love, Sheila. We then received another template email asking for Sheila's totally real and legitimate details. So to keep the scammer on the hook, I decided to throw him a wee bone and sent him some completely bogus information and a faked bus pass. Here is the bus pass by the way, it took me two minutes to make, and I made it online. It's so shit. Anyway, I replied with this. My dearest Martin, I found my bus pass, my youngest Alberto was using it as a toy, so he's now grounded. Name, Sheila Egbeth Lodge, mobile, 07222 4237. 89. Don't ring this number, it's fake. Address 44 Smith Downton Lane, Oxford. OX3Z12. The Oxford address also doesn't exist. Occupation Knitter of Novelty Jumpers. Age 32. Here's all my information. I look forward to hearing from you, my love. Loves, hugs, and kisses, Sheila. Having sent this through, we got a reply from Martin telling us what to do next on which he said he loved Sheila and he also wanted us to send a letter. A letter we would receive in a glorious form. Look at this letter. Just, just look at it. I didn't think in the slightest he would fall for any of this, but this is proof that plain of day he believed Sheila was real and he drafted a very, very shit letter. Mind you, I've seen many, many bank letters in my time. It's very poor. But seeing this, and realising I can't go much further with this, I decided to give up the ghost and send him one last email. My dear love Martin, I will send this off ASAP. I've been talking to my friends about you. They think I'm crazy. They think that romance is destined to fail. They tell me you'd never want to meet me in person and that you just want my money in the form of an advance fee scam. But I know the truth. I know the only crime you're guilty of is loving too much. That and a den identity fraud, false information, money laundering, and of course, scamming innocent people out of lots of money. I hope we meet again in another life. But if not, I shall cherish our memories like I cherish my eagle, Samantha Peterson. All my love, Sheila Lodge. With this email, Martin ceased contact with me, and I did the safe thing and contacted the UK Fishing Service, where I reported Martin's account and explained that he is a criminal. But I did enjoy it. I'm aware, as you should be, that these people are very dangerous. But Martin was not dangerous. He was a dipshit. Whilst I may be a very tech-savvy legend with a massive brain and several children, elderly people aren't. Tech-savvy, that is. I'm not sure about legends or several kids. If you ever receive an email like this and you don't want to fuck around with the scammers, like I enjoy to, always, always report it. There's an email on screen right now. Always report it. Or... If you want me to fuck around with them, which I will, forward it to BigSheilaLarge at gmail.com. I will fuck with scammers so you don't have to. I shall now retire to my bed and dream of my dream man, Martin. The fucking wanger. Thanks for watching this rather shortish video. The new essay video is on its way, I promise. If you like what you've watched, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you want to help out the channel, please support us with a coffee donation. Every single donation helps us keep the lights on and helps us do what we do every day. Also, I'm being deadly serious about that scammer email thing. If you want me to fuck around with scammers, forward me an email at bigsheilalarge at gmail.com. Bye.